Sir, you're going to want to put the drugs away and step out of the car. They're not my drugs. Which drugs? The ones on your mirror or up your nose? You think I own a makeup mirror? They're all hers. Not what she's saying, and she wasn't holding it. And she already offered up blood and urine. Do you want to offer up blood and urine? Listen, officer, I hate putting it this way, but do you know who I am? I do, actually, Mr. Boyd. And I know that woman in the car wasn't Mrs. Boyd. And I have a special distaste for people who don't appreciate the sanctity of marriage. I also know you work for Senator Lavoie. But when I ran your name in the system, it set off bells and whistles at the local FBI office. They sent a couple of their boys down here just to talk to you. And it seems they don't care who your boss is. Special Agent Jack Margrave. This is Special Agent Blake. Lieutenant Oscar Finley. Yeah, I'm not talking without my lawyer. You want to lawyer up? Fine. Call him. I will. And they'll have me out of here within the hour. Hmm. You know, that's just going to be too late. Because by the time they get here, we'll already have the story of a senator's legislative director in the wrong woman's car with a snout full of booger sugar on the front page of the Globe and the Herald. You see, this is not college or law school, son. You're not some spoiled rich kid barely rocking a C plus. You're a beltway man now. The kind of guy that people enjoy knocking down a peg or two. So these charges, they're not just going to get swept under the rug. We're not going to let them. Want to know why? OK. Why? Because we don't like you. I don't even know why you're here. We're here because we want to know everything there is to know about Little Wing. I should probably. You should. Yeah. I'm gonna call Mr. Boyd's wife. Oh, she's probably worried about him over in DC. Worried sick. You know, happy wife, happy life, huh? Okay, fine. Hello. Wrong number. Talk. It's not that big of a deal. Little Wing is just a code name. For what? for a new technology currently in development. Some incredible anti-missile software originally developed to protect commercial aircraft, but a certain aeronautics company approached us. Let me guess. New Age. That's right. New Age. They found the software could be tweaked. It could be used in missiles and not just against them. It could be scaled down and installed in portable shoulder, fired surface-to-air weaponry. The software allows missiles to defeat all known countermeasures. How? That's a question for a nerd in a lab coat, man. OK, all I know is that missiles shot from the ground completely bypass their target, making pilots believe the threat has passed, and then they recalibrate, turn around, zero back in on the aircraft, and reattack. It's death from above, and there is no way to avoid it. You fire, you hit your target, period. And what's Senator Lavoie's involvement? Well, the project required an appropriation bill, all right? You want to get one passed? You're looking at years of bureaucratic bullshit, all thanks to some arcane laws on modifying civilian tech. But Lavoie knew Little Wing would slingshot our military into the future. So if we just sat on our hands, waiting for it to go through the proper channels, it would never happen. So I'm assuming Lavoie didn't clear up the red tape in the most reputable manner. I helped bury the proposal in a thousand-page statute while Lavoie shook hands and drummed up votes. No one even knew it was in there. And he did this out of the goodness of his heart? To protect democracy. No fat envelopes slipped inside newspapers on park benches. Grow the fuck up, OK? It's DC. It's how shit gets done. Besides, Lavoie knew Little Wing would save lives. I mean, everyone made fun of the Star Wars defense program, but hey, look at where we are now. Everyone's trying to shoot projectiles out of the air. Little Wing can knock anything out of the sky. Anything, like commercial aircraft. You fire, you hit the target. You say so yourself. Yeah, but it's our tech. We have it. Nobody else can get their hands on it. 
Nothing like you're thinking is going to happen. New Age is incredibly secure. Both of their facilities implement state-of-the-art- Both facilities? What do you mean? New Age has two bases, software made in New York, hardware at a manufacturing plant in Denver. What else can you tell us? Nothing. That's all I know. I swear. Hey, Lavoie and me, we, we cut some corners. We did some stuff we should not have done, but it was all to get a defense bill passed. Protect the country. How'd that work out? Hey, excuse me. So, are the drug charges getting dropped or what? I don't know. I'm not a cop. Heck of a surprise getting a call from you. Hell of a surprise hearing you're wearing the badge again. Lieutenant, no less. Yeah, well, retirement didn't suit me. Speaking of suits, see you're still sporting the tweed. Reliable as ever, Finley. Speak for yourself. What was it you told me when we first met? Trouble always seems to find you. You kill a whole lot of people? Here and there. You need my help? I already gave it. You still spinning that wedding ring? Here and there. I'm feeling better every day. And the dog? Jack eats too much, just like his namesake. Today, boss. Car's running. And if I don't get out of this straight jacket soon, things are going to get ugly. Really? Didn't recognize you. Looking good. Mind your business, elbow patches. Well, you heard the lady. If I don't have her in jeans in 20 minutes, I'm done for. See you around, Reacher. See you around, Finley. <laughs>